This is my Ryan Gosling impression. Hey, Neil James here, and as a straight dude, I watched the Golden Globes. I enjoyed it. I have some opinions. Viola Davis won for uh, Best Actress in a Drama for Fences, which uh, I'm excited about because I wanted her to win that award, and now she's going to win the Oscar, and that's going to be fucking great because she fucking deserved it. She fucking killed it in Fences. If you guys haven't seen it, you should see it because Denzel is good, but Viola Davis is like there. Moonlight won Best Drama, which it absolutely deserved. That movie just fucked me up. La La Land won, like, a ton of awards at the Golden Globes, including uh, Best Comedy or Musical, of which it is both. What I'm uh, a little nervous about happening now is that because there's such a huge campaign and, and so many people are in love with this movie, um, and it's definitely going to get nominated for Best Picture at the Oscar, but so is Moonlight, and I'm worried about these two movies now getting compared to each other for the complete wrong reasons. La La Land is already getting a lot of complaints, like from yourself, Neil, that it's kind of like the whitest movie ever made. I don't think it's the whitest movie ever made. I think it's about as white as pretty much the majority of movies that come out every year and this year. I think it's a great movie. I enjoyed it. I like Sing Street more, but the whiteness of La La Land I think isn't really a negative of the film as much as it speaks more about the film industry as a whole. What makes me nervous about labeling La La Land as the white film is that it kind of de facto labels Moonlight as the black film, and these two films are in the biggest competition for Best Picture for the Oscar. That's, that's the big awards that's coming next, and these two are the number one choices uh, most likely to win the awards. And by kind of subtly labeling them the black film or the white film, it puts them in competition in, in the wrong ways. It makes it political rather than just what the films are about. La La Land shouldn't be judged if it's a white film. It should be judged if it's a good film, which it is. Just like Moonlight shouldn't be judged if it's a black film, as much as it should be judged that it's a great film, which it is. It is also better than La La Land. But not because of what the people look like, because it's a great fucking movie. That's how I see it anyway. I did also get to witness Meryl Streep's speech. Um, it was amazing. I loved it. I loved so much of it. But my favorite part was when she was calling out various actors and, and actresses uh, on the diversity of Hollywood, and whenever she'd say someone's name and where they were from, the camera would cut to them, and they'd always have this look on their face of like, Meryl Streep is saying my name? So in your video, Neil, you mentioned how when someone complained about Meryl Streep's speech, uh, you combated it by saying that the movies that we're making, the television shows that we're making, are not for the people that watch MMA and football. Um, but I don't, I think that's not true. I have to disagree. I think movies and television, the end-all be-all goal is, is for everyone to enjoy them. There may be certain demographics that, that is targeted. You know, the CW isn't necessarily making any television shows for senior citizens, but the goal is to still make something that people of all ages can enjoy in some way, even if it's not directly targeted towards them. Because that's the thing, if we're actually going to be honest, uh, having a diverse cast in a television show or film is not progressive as much as it is just good for business international gross of a film is more and more becoming the defining fact of whether or not a film was successful or not at all. And one of the easiest ways to have a film be successful around the world is to have people from around the world in your film. <laughs> Fast and Furious franchise, um, those movies are not great. Uh, the, the, they're fun, but the scripts aren't all that good, and the acting kind of suffers because of the script but it's one of the most successful franchises of all time, especially internationally. And it's not because of the car chases. It's part of it. But the main reason they do so well around the world is because there is almost every type of person represented in the main cast in every film. So someone from around the world can look at one of the characters and go, I see myself in that person, I can relate to that person, at least on a visual level. Now I'm interested in seeing this film. And yes, it may all be just for dollar signs, but I don't care. I think it's great. Unfortunately, we live in a country that is as diverse as we are, still very sheltered about the rest of the world around us. There are so many of us, but so few of us actually know what's going on in the outside world or, or just travel in general. That film and television is one of the few places where we can all connect and be exposed to different walks of life. With international audiences being so important, 
uh, your cast thus being represented internationally, this is bringing in more money for the film, which is thus bringing in more money into our country and thus improving the economy for the United States. So yeah, diversity is actually good for American business. So if someone comes up to you and is like, I hate all this diversity in film and how there aren't any white faces on the TV and the television and, and, and the movie screens anymore, you go ahead and tell them that diversity is pretty much the only thing saving this industry right now. So there. But yeah, that's it. That's it for me. I'm done now. Um, for any of you watching who are not Neil, uh, feel free to comment about what you thought about the Globes or uh, diversity or the winners or Meryl Streep or just anything I've said in here. Feel free to comment in the comment section below. Also do the liking and the subscribing thing, which is like really important right now since we're a new channel and could use the attention. Neil, thank you again for your video. I look forward to whatever our topic is going to be next week. You have a good weekend and I will see you next time.